So let me get this straight. <clears throat> Robert Pattinson, who people were already complaining about being picked to play Batman because they're connected to Twilight, isn't dedicated to the role? Let's talk about this. All right, so there's some kind of article that came out where Robert Pattinson is talking about, like, it's a GQ or something, and he's talking about how he can't be bothered, and he never was about time, and he never was about this. Now, you already, now I've actually defended him. I'm actually excited to see him in a role because I've seen him in other stuff like Metropolitan and anything. So then he brings up some junk about Twilight. First off, that movie's old. Everybody needs to get over it. The movie was trash. And then in the article, they try to say it's increasing popularity. Really? Because when I remember, it actually was going down in box office. After a point, each movie did worse and worse. But I digress. <clears throat> so, he's saying something like he talked to Zoe Kravitz and she's working out five times a day, which I... Love her. Now, I don't have an issue, because uh, I, I really love her. I'm talking about as an actress and as just as a musician. I, I think she's very talented, a very artistic person. Now, Catwoman is an interesting thing because Catwoman has been black, white, Judy, and was all the same person. Uh, in the original, if you think about the 60s Batman, Eartha Kitt, uh, Julie Newmar, I forgot the other one's name, but literally, and they all were supposed to be the same person. Craziness. Even the cartoon made a joke about it. Uh, when the one where they did, not the Two-Face one, the one before that. Two-Face one was actually kind of serious. I kind of liked that one a lot. But the one before that. Uh, something about the Cape Crusaders. Return of the Cape Crusaders. Anyway. So, they left him like a ball and a weight. And they're asking him to do this. He said he's worried they're going to forget about him. He's worried that they're going to uh, do something where the people are going to come back and the place to take the place over. Because he only has like three t-shirts and something else. Now, my first problem is this. And this is what I, I, I can't stand. And I understand where people come from. Even though I do sometimes defend this. You're rich. You have money. You can't order a t-shirt. You can't go down the street and get a t-shirt. You can't order somebody else to go get you a t-shirt. Really? Really? I think I got this t-shirt in a bag of black t-shirts. That was like five bucks or seven bucks. Is it that hard, Robert? Then he's like, I don't want to send a president because at Twilight, I took off my shirt and they told me to put it back on. Except you did open up your shirt in Twilight because you did the thing to show that you were a sparkly vampire. And the other guy was already super duper buff. The actor who is, uh, was for, you know, is really cool. But, um, cause that's not my focus right now. But anyway... You were a teen heartthrob, but yet you still had like a six pack and stuff like that. Now, here's the difference. As a vampire teenage heartthrob movie, you fit the role. It was what he wanted to be or whatever. This is Batman. He's a pinnacle of working out. He's a pinnacle of physicality as well as mental sharpness. He's the world's greatest detective. In DC currently, from how they put it, he's the second smartest person in DC. Now, that's in the main universe, Earth Prime. I don't know when they had Watchmen on there who was smarter. Um, but I know Lex was the top guy. And they established that in Doomsday Clock. When, um, wow, his name is escaping me right now, too. The guy who set the plan in motion for uh, Watchmen. Sorry, I was working on something and I just came across this. So, my brain is like that. So... Was it Amadeus? No, it wasn't Amadeus. Uh, it'll come back to me after the video's over. Watch. It always happens that way. But anyway, when you go through the whole thing, he's like, I just can't be bothered working out. Now, don't get me wrong. I've slacked on my working out and stuff a bit myself because I've been busy doing some other stuff. I actually just did a reset to even my own diet. Here's the difference. I'm doing that for my health. If I'm getting paid, which by the way, he's living for free 
and he's getting his meals prepared for free. But somehow he's like, no, Batman, I need to do this. And Batman's not a hero. He's just a superhero. He's just a man. He goes out and fights crime. He falls under the superhero category. He's a vigilante. Um, guess what? So is Punisher. Guess what? So is Spider-Man. So is the Flash. There until later. Most of these characters are not deputized. I, uh, and he's acting like he's above the role. And here's the thing I, I can even say. I don't even need him to get crazy buff. You know what I'm saying? Because he's supposed to play a younger bat. You know what I'm saying? Adrian Veidt. Ozymandias. Ozymandias. I told you it just came to me just now. But, um... Yeah, it, it's one of those weird, weird, weird situations where he's like, uh, he's like acting. Now, I was actually in support of him because I've seen him do some very good acting. You know what I mean? Like, move this back a little bit. There we go. Like, I, I've seen him do some good stuff. And, uh, and he's like acting like he's above the role, like the role's beneath him. I'm like, did you not see what Joaquin Phoenix did? Now, here's what's really funny. I don't want him to be crazy buff because he's playing a, a early Batman. I think Batman should grow into that more buffer guy. But for a minute, I think he should. you should at least, if you're going to fight crime, be in shape. You should have a six pack. You should be tight. As a matter of fact, I was hoping they were kind of going for more of like a runner's kind of body. Like, you know, or like a boxer kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like, a, like if you ever watch MMA, right? Look at like Conor McGregor. Like, you see how his build is? I'm just talking about his, his overall structure. That's what I was kind of expecting. Like that overall structure. He doesn't need to be a bodybuilder or anything like that. Like I said later, I mean, you've seen Batman can pump, you know, apparently uh, 500 pounds <clears throat> or whatever. But I expect you to be in some form of shape. I don't need you to be walking around and you're just some drab. And then in the pictures, he just looks dead. He's in London and he's like, oh, I haven't been in my home in Los Angeles. And he just looks dead dead like i'm like dude i need you to get it together okay we as fans take this seriously if you're not going to take it seriously then quit the role and i'm hoping matt reeves literally sits down and goes listen listen homie you this is batman okay do you not understand bro like how many people would want to be in this position right now superhero movies are meal tickets if you don't put this effort into it, you're going to have one or two problems. You can either have a Christian Bale playing Batman situation, or you can have a Ben Affleck playing Daredevil situation. Which one are you trying to do? Now, I could have said Ben Affleck is Batman, because I think he played a dang good Batman. But I wanted to do an extreme because, you know, Christian Bale is very loved. <clears throat> so, my issue with this guy is... I, I don't get it. I, I, I like he's if if your co-star is telling you how she's working out at five days a week to keep up with her stuff. And I understand if things, you know, slip for you a little bit. But he's like sitting there, even the way he's talking in the article, it's just like he's like, yeah, you know, I'm just this. And and I'm remembering things. But I don't remember what time it was. It was like two years ago. You're Batman. Now, because this is going on. I'm now holding this movie at a much more, like, you know, more tight thing. Because now I'm going to start looking for, I always do, but it makes me look for it more. See, Gal Gadot caught a lot of heat for being Wonder Woman. You know what happened? She was lean for a bit. Even I had some issues with her. Um, I did. And I'm glad, and I was pleasantly proven wrong. She is a fantastic Wonder Woman. She bulked up for the role. I think, you know, and then she did the role, like, somebody that moved while she was pregnant, like, a few months actually showing, and she still was doing it? No, that's dedication that's there. And when you watch her, she's so humble and happy and pleased to be Wonder Woman because she realizes what that role means to her career. Chris Pratt, who is a chunky dude, he turned around and he got in crazy shape, and even he says that that role changed his career. Like, these, these superhero movies can literally change your career. And even if you have a bad little go of it, like Robert Downey Jr. with that um, Dr. Doolittle movie, 
People still love Robert Downey Jr. Stop that, Don. You, you see what I'm saying? Like, like what are you thinking? You, it, the way you're coming off, you're coming off like just a prick. Just a self-entitled, self-righteous prick the way that read. Oh, I just, you know, I, I just, and I, I don't want to set a president for a body thing like this because I was body shamed or something back like t when I was 21, even though I'm now 34. Get over it. I'm telling you right now, this, I trust Matt Reeves. I trust the whole thing. I love how he did the series of Planet of the Apes. It's shocking. I need you to get it together. Okay. Get it together. Get it done. Do your job. Because I swear, if you screw this roll up and, and we had to deal with another Batman recasting because I'm sick and tired of the recastings, I, I hope somebody goes up. I hope Zoe goes right upside your head. Just pow. Because you, 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 you need to get over yourself. I was batting for you and then you turn around and pulled this crap. This the geek protagonist. You stay safe. You stay healthy. And I'll see you later. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay real. Jeez. Hey, this is the Geek Protagonist. Thank you for visiting my channel. Uh, like, subscribe, share. Tell me what you think. You heard my thoughts. And uh, also hit that bell notification so you can be aware of any videos I do. Just click, click. And just take care of yourselves. Thank you. I really appreciate you coming to my channel. I appreciate you sharing this time with me. All right, so uh, the Geek Protagonist is out and discuss in the comments, suggestions, anything. See ya.